Hello there, it's Mr. Po. It's a quick video uh, on demand, if you will. Uh, a lot of um, uh, my friends and old followers, uh, among them uh, some of my students and acquaintances, friends, uh, colleagues, uh, they asked me uh, one question. And uh, occasionally, from time to time, they keep asking me this question. Which I kind of, you know, it's kind of pleasant to hear, to be honest. Uh, they asked me why I stopped um, posting any new paintings and drawings. Because my old followers know that uh, at first, when I uh, started to use Instagram on a regular basis, when it became something like a trend, when it became the place of sharing the content, uh related to hobbies and everything i was known most of all uh, by my posts of different artworks like um, paintings or something especially impressionism because i was actually uh, fond of impressionism as an art style and i tried to uh, you know paint in the same genre if you will and the reason for the lack of such posts today is because maybe I no longer, right, right now currently, have enough inspiration to do this stuff. And don't get me wrong, I mean, like, I, I have had other hobbies as well, like um, collecting diecast, like, um, let's say, fish keeping, uh, and, uh, you know, making music. I had all that together with uh, uh, with art uh, and I just didn't post about that that much it didn't come to my mind that you know you could actually post that stuff as well and share this content with uh, other people with anyone interested and th the people who do the same you know so that's why you know you didn't see a lot of posts about that before but seriously, yes, seriously, I started, for example, fish keeping like um, uh, three years ago before I had very little experience of that. I mean, in terms of real approach, you know, serious approach to fish keeping. Yes. As for music, yeah, I was uh, I was making music uh, since like my students years. And uh, I can say that I learned a lot about how to make music and about music theory though i had no classical music training but i learned a lot about music theory about you know structure of you know music and chords uh, theory of harmony and everything so but that's not about that let's talk about let's talk about art first of all so i have no longer this um, sort of mood probably and motivation to uh, paint a lot uh, and sometimes when i get down to it it's already been like um, probably five, four times maybe uh, when I wanted to start painting and I tried it and unfortunately I couldn't just because you know what I painted what what the result was it didn't satisfy me and though I didn't post anything I mean I just I like scrapped these paintings and never started again uh, so you may ask like uh, why why how is it different right now why you why did you have this inspiration before why did you have motivation before and now you don't well that's sort of complicated because uh you know back in the day when i was probably younger because it was like five years ago maybe six uh, i started painting and drawing seriously at this time uh, when I was studying at master's degree and later I continued when I uh, was already working as a teacher uh, I had motivation within myself you know I mean like I could relate to my own maybe inspiration that comes from imagination and uh, you know I sort of lost this feeling and uh, this is maybe the reason why I cannot do all the stuff that I used to do. And the next thing is, 
uh, I usually paint it in Impressionism style, in Impressionist style. But somehow, with time, I switch to other styles as well. I mean, in terms of what I'm more fond of. I mean, looking at and admiring. I'm more into landscape uh, right now, like plain air or something. More realistic, probably. Maybe a little bit more simplistic, not that symbolic as Impressionism. And in order to depict something like that, you'd have to see it with your own eyes. You have to go somewhere, you have to be in certain places that make you feel inspired enough. And then you can actually paint it. Uh, and usually it is done in open air. And right now I do not have enough opportunity probably, or maybe not enough motivation to go somewhere like this and start doing that or maybe take photos or something but this is maybe an excuse probably as i probably know that this is not the main reason the main reason for stopping uh painting is i really i really ran out of ideas right now and uh, uh i i i i painted a lot of stuff which comes from my imagination but you cannot rely on it inter eternally right Sometimes it's, it's over and you have no longer uh, enough, probably, imagination to paint something different. It, all, all the time there come the same and the same images and pictures in your mind, in your imagination, and you cannot depict them all the time the same. Yeah? And this is one of those you know, reasons why I no longer paint as much as I did. It doesn't mean that I gave up this hobby, uh, but it's certain that I no longer do it as much as I did, and right now I no longer enjoy it as much as I did. And that's very sad because, you know, uh, for me who wants to paint, sometimes it's rather like, you know, unpleasant when you start doing something and you cannot. I mean, you... Uh, do not have enough inspiration to paint something. As you remember, the last painting was this one, and you probably saw it on Instagram, but it was already a long time ago, several months ago, and like the last year. And uh, uh, I was very inspired, and it took me like 40 minutes to paint this piece. It's not very big, but you know, uh, the way it was depicted, you cannot repeat it. You cannot just sit and do that, uh, automatically you have to have this urge you know to paint and I no longer have it right now so that's the reason but I hope that maybe inspiration comes back because you never know and uh, I will keep posting such stuff uh, later on so that's it and thank you for watching then peace and stay safe see you then later in the next videos